For some of our structural modifications and reinforcements, we want to do the laminating of fiberglass and carbon in a vacuum. That's why last week we showed how we set up our vacuum pump and tested it out. In this video we'll show the other materials you need and our first real use of the machine making a carbon fiber bandana for our new skull figurehead. <laughs> <laughs> this is Timo and I'm Joe and recently our family just got a lot bigger Solo Timo Nemo Joe This is our sailing yacht and our home Envy What's the city wash over me? Oh, no. We're currently in Fiji, transforming Envy from an ex-race boat to a performance family cruiser. Firstly, we want to say thanks so much for all the comments we received regarding last week's video. It was really helpful to hear the suggestions about the vacuum pump setup, especially that we should move the valve to be between the pump and the pressure gauge, which should help us sort out any leaks and also to include a pressure regulating valve, which we're now trying to source from the US. Please keep the comments coming, we really enjoy hearing from you. These first few test runs are warm-ups for us before we use it for the structural modifications on board. For laminating carbon fibre in a vacuum, as we're about to do in this video, along with the vacuum pump, we'll need the following things. Carbon fibre, how we start? Carbon fibre. We buy many different uh, rolls of carbon, we bought several different types of carbon fibre cloth. One type has two layers, one on top of the other, with one layer being aligned at plus 45 degrees to the vertical and the, and the other layer being aligned at minus 45 degrees. This is called biaxial or double bias. We also ordered unidirectional, which is when there's only one layer of fibre and they're all going in the same direction. This means we're able to layer the different cloths on top of each other to give strength in three different directions in the vertical and the plus and minus 45. That's a mean it is a very structural material because it's a three directional. Nastro butilico is the seal. It's one very sticky sticky material, look like a liquidish, but uh, please don't eat it because I don't think it's very healthy. It's like a plasticine, you can stick all around to the job you have to do it and remove the back part. You use this tape to stick in place and seal the vacuum bag on top of the area that you're laminating. Peel ply on the top. We use epoxy to laminate or glue the carbon fiber onto the skull figurehead. And peel ply is a material which has been treated with a release agent which means that it doesn't bond to epoxy. This means you can add it to the top layer of your laminated fibers and after the material is cured, it peels off easily, leaving a nice smooth surface, which doesn't require much sanding. Plastic with a thousand hole. Did you see? It's a thousand hole. This perforated layer limits the amount of epoxy able to pass through to wet the subsequent layers. Thousand old for drain the, the air, double layer mosquito uh, net. The net provides a breather layer, allowing the air to be sucked out more uniformly. The after the bags, the vacuum bags, seal around with the vacuum inside, with the pump and vacuum inside. Uh, always order from the internet because in Fiji guarantee you don't find this kind of professional material we buy also another hundred meter of uh, plastic bags for making a vacuum uh, fiberglass and uh, in this situation the color is, is yellow is not the normal nylon the normal plastic you can find in the 
uh, in the normal shop. Now it's arrived a little bit full the bed and me I'm uh, quite uh, uh, scary to have a fold because if there is a fold after we try to make him flat yes now it's better this material is the material have to be sealed with the butylic tape the butylic tape now so this material these bags have to be sealed with this tape yes this material to be sealed with this tape and this tape go around to your zone where you do the, the fiberglass job or also where there is the connection of the pipe come from the pump you put two lines of uh, botelic tape around to the pipe and the bags have to be sealed like this and like you see it's very sticky material when a stitch it don't release easy and when you go in a vacuum this material is like a caoutchouc it go to squeeze and stick more and more. It's really for a uh, do one seal. But always when you finish the job you can remove because this plastic but not easy watch. Watch. This plastic sure don't glue with the epoxy. But with this butylic, wow. Ah, impossible to remove, <laughs> eh? Wow, but yeah, yeah, I can, okay. We try to familiarization with the stuff. Okay, now be careful to solo, don't eat the botanic tape. Now these bags, uh, maybe, maybe we have to roll in one big roll. The important thing is prepare everything before. We tape netting over the hose opening to prevent the hose from getting blocked. We stuck butyl tape all around to the area that we want to laminate, so we can stick the vacuum bag to it. Next we mix the two part epoxy in the ratio two parts resin to one part hardener. Uno, due. One. Okay, allora the peel ply is this material. It's for uh, making a uh, nice the, the lamination. When it's uh, done, it's clean. After I put the plastic uh, with the micro hole, after I put the green net uh, for transpirate the air. But before uh, I go to put the hose inside, the hose I already prepared with the, the net. Okay, now I wet the carbon. Wet the carbon thoroughly with the epoxy. The carbon is uh, dark, so it's very difficult to see if it's really wet. The, the, the glass uh, is easy because it uh, comes in transparent when the wet. The carbon, no. For that I wet before. I wet on the back, after I put on the top. We put a layer of peel ply on top of the carbon. And 
then stick one edge of the vacuum bag to the butyl tape. On top of this we add the perforated material and the net. And then finally with the vacuum bag around the whole thing. Now he's in a vacuum. Oof. Okay. Done. Experiment number one, the vacuum pump. And finally we painted it with a couple of layers of clear coat to protect the carbon from the UV and make it nice and shiny. Be careful, I prepare everything, don't touch nothing. This is the cardboard. Be, be careful this tape is a super expensive this one uh, expensive material is a little bit expensive it's come from uh, china and it was really cheap yeah okay. <laughs> come from china it's very cheap mm. it's also the best brand i wish is the original one ah we want to see our pump is a very discount uh, like in fiji discount what do you mean yeah because it's banned no no and stick on the top the plastic bags making the bags of, the, of your air vacuum job. No. It's good. My Don't touch nothing. Thank you.